What is going on guys, Quality XA here today and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video on Destiny 2. Now today we're actually looking at Zer's inventory, so let's go and have a look what this man has got. So some pretty decent stuff there, we've also got the Fated Engram as always, but first up we have the Hunter's Class which is the Young Ahamkara's Spine. So we've got the Wish Dragon Teeth, increases Tripmine Grenade duration and marks enemies damage by the blast. Now the Tripmine Grenade definitely isn't the best, but this perk definitely allows it to be better than what it currently is. Having the increased duration is definitely noticeable, and you do notice when you can see the marked enemies when they get damaged by this. So pretty decent. You've also got the Mobility Enhanced mod and Plastic Reinforcement mod. Moving on, we have one of the best looking masks in the game, the Mask of the Quiet One. So for this you get a Dreaded Visage. Grants melee, grenade and class ability energy when damaged. Void ability kills grant health regeneration. Now this is definitely one of the more underrated exotics in the game in my honest opinion. You don't notice it too much, but when you do notice it, it is a huge, huge bonus, especially when you get them void ability kills. You've also got mobility enhanced mod and restorative mod. Moving on to the warlock, possibly... My favourite looking exotic, but definitely one of the worst exotics, you have the Wings of Sacred Dawn, you have Tome of the Dawn. When Dawnblade is equipped, aiming weapons while in mid-air suspends you there for a short time. Precision hits extend this effect's duration. Now personally, I think in PvP this makes you a moving target. Maybe if you guys are in PvP it might work a little bit better, but it's definitely not the best. You've also got Mobility Enhanced mod and Restorative mod. And then finally moving on to the weapon this week, you have the Telesto, which is almost a fusion rifle mini grenade launcher. It actually has this exotic perk known as Unplanned Reprieve, so fusion projectiles attach and detonate with a delayed void blast. You've also got Projection Fuse, Harbringer's Pulse, and you've got the Polymer Grip. So it's a very destruction based fusion rifle, and the explosion you definitely notice how much damage it does. But yes guys, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed, a like would be much appreciated, as well as subscribing if you guys are new around here. But as always, peace out, and I hope you enjoy.